Um, this is my little space. I forgot to do a opening because I am a scatterbrain. So yeah, my bad. Um, Thanks. I actually got a package. Super, super grateful. I will be showing you the Instagram account of the company that sent these to me. And I will also be doing a full on review. Right now it's just a quick unboxing because I got them. So here they are. It's Tuesday morning. It's Tuesday morning. I ate yesterday. I ate Monday. Um, and so I had to start over my fast on Tuesday. I wanted to originally start it on Monday, but I ended up eating too late, close to the day, like close to it was like almost midnight or past midnight, and so I just didn't do it. Um, my cat broke the blind, so that's what's happening there. If you're like, that's what but yeah, that's what's going on with me. Um, I'm in this diaper. Let's start the day. I gotta clean my room. It's late. It's very late. I woke up at like four or something. I'm still testing these. Testing these out. They're super absorbent. Like I'm having trouble filling them up. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I'm starting off this fast. It is Tuesday. It's like nighttime already. I pretty much slept the day away. Um, I scratched my forehead because I was having a conniption. But I slept the day away because um, I went to sleep like basically in the morning on Monday and I had already eaten. So I'm starting the fast on Tuesday. I have not eaten anything. I'm about to have some water and I might microdose or something because I have some cleaning to do and I am really really wanting to have some food want some food but it's okay here it's only like it hasn't even been full 24 hours i can i can do this i can do this so the goal is to see how long i can go i want to do it like a week i want to do like seven days like a full week but it cut me off that was very rude but i want to be realistic everybody's telling me i should be realistic and there's a good chance that uh you know, in my, the fucking cat's trying to bite me. So everybody's telling me that I should just like, maybe try to do not seven days because that's a lot of days and I might not feel accomplished if I don't make it to seven days, which is very much true. I'm gonna feel really horrible. I'm gonna be like, I can't ever do anything. And that's how I feel. But, um, so, but I'm, I'm gonna do it like this. Like if I can make it seven days, I'm gonna be, you know, that's, that's the ultimate goal. I'm still going to feel accomplished if I do at least three. If I do one, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna feel bad. So I'm gonna try to do three. If I can't do three, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try again. Uh, but yeah. He's a menace. The rules of the fast is I can have, I can have water, um, no like sugary drinks or nothing like that, just straight up spring water. And um, if I get like hungry or weak or not hungry because I'm gonna be hungry this whole time. If I get like weak or sick feeling, I'm gonna eat fruit, specifically these because I love these very much. They're so good. Like if I had nothing else that I could eat at all ever ever again except for one thing probably these he he bites my ankles <laughs> he bites my ankles and tries to get me to walk to his to his bowl i feel i figured i could put my water in a nice cute little bottle this bottle my friend got me and i posted a video of like all the stuff that she got me this is she got me two bottles like this and i gotta just do things that make me not want to eat which is so hard because everything makes me want to eat you're not just It seems like every single. Hi. Huh? With black seed oil for again? Say it one more time. With black seed oil for again? You got black seed oil? Mama left your baby. 
I have to clean. Look at this monstrosity. Gingerly walk through here. Gingerly. I have to find the motivation to clean this. I don't know where I'm gonna find it. These the sap on these are crazy because like I have not like I'm it, they feel so dry. Like I've used a crescent tongue, but I feel so dry in this. I love that. Is that three to five times? I feel like I should start with my clothes. My clothes don't go in here. Yeah. talking to myself and I wasn't even recording but um I got a good chunk done I know like from the angle that you're at it's like where how all of my little tiny mini verse stuff I need to organize um and my lol dolls there I just shoved them all over here so except for like Darcy and my most special and favorite dolls they're in uh very distinguished boxes <laughs> And they were just sitting over here uh, along with all of like my mountain of stuffies. Um, I moved the table out of my room because I have a nail slash tattooing table and I'm just going to use that for any crafting. I don't really use the desk that was in here. Um, it was like one of those foldable ones. Uh, it wasn't very cute anyway. I just wanted to get it out of here. That way we could have more space. I'm done. Like I got a lot of it done despite what you're seeing here. Um, you were not even able to walk in this room and now you're able to. You can spin around if you want if you so please uh but yeah i found all of my out my my wall blocks i found so many different things that i was looking for they were all in this room just underneath the rubble and i just gotta finish up i, I feel good i got a good chunk of gun i'm still working on it though i got a lot more to go no lie i got a lot of mostly organization to do if not i'll be checking in with you in like either tomorrow morning or don't know i don't know when i'll be checking in with you but i will be checking in with you so see you soon i'm losing momentum momentum lost hey what's up i am currently in a pull-up i freshly just got out of the shower but for the most part my room is phenomenally better just do like a quick little i guess kind of like a story time but also like an explanation for why my room is the way that it is or was i guess is because it's still pretty jacked up but um while i put away my colored pencils because they're all just like scattered and i have like a little case that they are supposed to go in so i'm gonna put them in there i'm realizing how not cute i look though and i'm thinking maybe i should make myself look cuter so what if i did like oh wait hang on let me do it like wait much and i'll get straight to the point as you guys know i have bpd and i also regress i sometimes have episodes i have like whether they are bpd episodes or regressive episodes they are still episodes they're debilitating and they happen they affect my relationships my i have you see that on my forehead i just like will like hurt myself i'll just do really crazy harmful things sometimes uh to myself and to objects now it's like i'll implode and i get to this point where a negative regression will happen and it's typically if i am like in a diaper or if i'm if there's anything happening that can trigger my regressive state on top of the stress which is typically all it really takes um, then I will slip into a negative regression. But sometimes I'll just ha be having a BPD episode. I don't know if that's what you would call them, but I would be having an episode where um, I'm splitting and it's like the rage fits and 
um, just your classic VPD episodes. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. We can definitely get more into, I'm digressing, like I said, I wouldn't. We can definitely get more into, like, the mental health stuff, but that's more going to be over on Patreon. Anyways, just, I'm working on it. But that's basically what happened. Um, It was, like, a BPD episode that, that led into a negative regression. And it was very violent, very, it was very scary, sad, violent. I hurt myself, as you can see. I did more than just this. I, like, Not only that, but I, like, destroyed property. Not only my own property, but, like, the property of my partner. Um, Not both of them, just one of them. Because, like, my rage was directed at them. And I didn't hurt them, but I hurt their things. Which is definitely not, like, not even close to okay. And, uh, long story short, I flipped out. I totally and completely flipped out. I spazzed out in all of the ways that I could have spazzed out other than hurting someone else. But um, it was a pretty shitty situation. It's hard for me to take full accountability because I feel like I want to make the excuse that I just have these issues. But I can't make that excuse because even though I have the issues that I have, I still can't destroy things. I can't hurt myself. I can't. Especially destroy other people's things. I can't let my emotions get the best of me. And it's definitely what I often do. And I'm trying to work on it or see what I can do to work on it. I know I need a therapist, but I just don't have, like, the means to do that right now. You know how I have two partners. And we're polyamorous. We do what we want to do, but we can do it together, mostly. And if we have um, relationships outside of us, then we just communicate it and we do our thing. Um, polyamory is specifically a little bit more difficult for me because of my BPD, I think, but I'm not sure. I just think maybe I'm just an asshole and I don't like sharing. (laughs) But, uh, one of my partners who is the male, he was my favorite person and I'm still having a hard time, like, trying to detach myself from having a favorite person. And so sometimes whenever I dissolve into my fits and times where I'm like, I don't want to say like, I'm like just a little baby because little babies shouldn't and don't hurt themselves or break things maybe they do but I don't that that's not the kind of little baby I want to be you know so um sometimes when I regress or have these episodes like it'll just sort of explode into something huge and crazy because like they don't necessarily see it as like an episode. It's more like I'm um, being ridiculous, <laughs> pretty much. Like, well, because it's like I'm insane. So <laughs> that's what happened. I, I guess I don't want to say too much. That's gonna seem like I'm putting people in any type of bad light because I'm the one in the wrong in the situation. Like having my issues, like age regression. Having that happen isn't, like, a cute and fun thing for me. It's, like, not typically. Like, it's something that I have to make into a cute and fun thing. Like, it's something that I have to flip into a cute and fun thing. Because anytime I'm age regressing, typically, it's, like, from a situation like that. Like, I went into a BPD fit, and that de-escalated or, like, exploded into... Something that would, I just can't handle, and then I dissolve into a regressive state. And that was a perfect example. The way that my room ended up the way that it is, like, it went from BPD, just like anger, rage, to drooling. Regression usually isn't a good thing. Whenever it's happening, it's usually not a good thing. Like, if I'm sitting down trying to make myself, put myself in a good headspace, that's more like just me putting myself in a good headspace and, you know, seeing what happens sometimes it'll trigger a actual regression where i am just like happily doing my thing just as well as i would have been if i was negatively regressed and not the way that i am now i wouldn't be able to i'm not even putting my pencils up i wouldn't be able to articulate a sentence yeah the way that that regression happened is usually how it happens bubbles over and then i either cry myself to sleep and like you know i either cry myself to sleep pinch it right here, pull my earlobes, or just, like, cry myself to sleep after the rage fit, you know? And 
my horrible room right here is a wonderful proof of that I think but maybe next time I'll try to catch it on camera if I ever reach that point which I'm definitely really trying to not ever reach that point my issues and my emotions and all of that is nobody's problem and I really gotta like I really gotta like make sure that I remember that it's so hard to remember that when I, but regression once I'm like attached to you and obsessed with you like I, um, I'm thinking about going to munches and stuff and seeing if I can't like do play dates and hang out with like meet caregivers my there's no way I'm gonna be able to just straight up meet a caregiver and be like ha like automatically have that relationship it's always gonna have to it's always gonna have to start off as friendship first because I just can't like in order for it to go anywhere at all I need to be like intensely close like that's just what it is I, I'm I'm scared. I'm scared because of the fact that I'm crazy and I do crazy things like destroy my stuff and like rip my face off. So I'm scared to meet people <laughs> because of that. Gonna get a therapist for sure. Just nervous about it. <laughs> I absolutely need one though because I I don't want to cause the problems that I cause. Like I I understand. Yeah, okay, I have these issues, but the fact that they like cause issues for other people is where I really want and desperately need to find something that can remedy this. So I hope that you guys are going to hang out with me. I hope you're interested in this because it is going to be something that will help me out a lot and I think that it'll help somebody else too. I also hope that you don't hate me for being crazy. I'm trying. <laughs> well, that's all I guess for now. I'll check in later. This is going to be like a bunch of parts. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I really don't. But it's going to be a bunch of parts. Like I'm really trying to film my full days and all of that for you guys. Regressing and having these BPD episodes. But I, like, I will legitimately not even fucking remember half of the shit that was even said or like stuff that I've done in those moments like and has like whenever I'm told that that's what I was done or that's what I did that's what I said or like shown like that I broke something or that I destroyed something like all I can do is say that it was me all I can do is like I mean at first I'm like no because I didn't like because I literally in my like in my mind I literally did not so I'm like no I'm not gonna say I did something when I didn't do it but then it's like I do things and I don't remember these things. I have these issues where I spaz the fuck out and I break myself and I break my stuff. I have these issues where I cry and sob until I like can't breathe and I pass out. And I have these issues where I literally check out and I think I'm a child. Like I can't say that I didn't do some of these things that people tell me that I did. I have to just take accountability and I hate it so much. Well, that's what I meant when I said like it's hard for me to take accountability um, and it's because it's like, it is like, it sucks. It sucks to be like, yeah, I did that whenever it's like, you clearly like have no recollection of doing these things. It, it sucks. Like you don't want to have to do that, but it's like, that is what it is. You know, it is what it is. And that's <clears throat> all you can do is try not to put yourself in these situations or try not to let these things happen in the first place. So there won't be any, you know. I don't know what I can do fully or at this time. I'm just trying what I can try, uh, doing what I can do, taking accountability for all the bullshit that I can't change, um, that, that happened with my hands, whether I remember or not. But, <clears throat> but yeah, that's what's going on here. That's what happened. This is a perfect, I thought I'd go ahead and just like come in and talk to you about it and like get it here and out because there are a lot of different things that I haven't recorded and then I haven't just spoken to you guys about because it's not cute and it's not fun and adorable like how everybody seems to think that age regression is is just cute fun and adorable and it's really not I know that I have BPD but my BPD is the reason that I have age regression or age regression happens to me um it's not, it's the reason because like that is the reason behind it and so I know that I can't just blame it all on my BPD because I can remember things that happen when I'm having BPD fits, but when I'm regressed, like I can hardly ever remember the things. I can only ever remember like smells and sounds and textures and stuff like that. Um, 
but a lot of my BPD fits, like I remember, I mean, I have seen red and like blacked out in some situations, but not often, not often, you know, the seeing red thing at least. But I know I have these issues and I know I have to hold myself accountability regardless. I, it just really, really sucks and I hate it. And I know that that sounds like I'm a shitty person for saying that, but I just want to be honest and I want you to know what's happening and that you know that that's why this is that's why it's like this so i'm fixing it i'm fixing it all right that's enough of that it's 4 42 and i just finished filming a little bit about like a little bit of explanation smoked blunt and uh organize all of my art stuff so <clears throat> i gotta organize my toys but i'm gonna do that after i go to sleep maybe i'm gonna go to sleep wake up and do that um, so I haven't eaten anything. I only had like some lemon juice. I had my vitamins. I had some water. Um, it's been a full 24 hours and then some and I, um, I think I'm okay. I'm kind of hungry. I want to eat something. I always want to eat something, but I think I'm okay. I kept myself busy. We're, we're trying to clean my room and I'm sorting through my stuff. And so tomorrow, or technically today, I'm going to do the same thing. Hopefully I can keep my mind off of food. Um, it has been a full 24 hours. I'm hoping I can go for three days. Um, if not three days, just like longer. But I'm thinking I'm thinking three days is going to be hard because I'm, I'm like, the, if I even talk, I know I'm going to be hungry. Like I know I'm going to be hungry. Um... But I'm hoping I can do what I did today and just, like, forget about it. Um, and <clears throat> take my vitamins. I also want to be done with cleaning tomorrow and get into working out. Like, I won't do anything strenuous because I'm not eating. So I will be just stretching. Doing some, like, pretty deep stretches and feeling my body like I used to. I'm going to do that. So that's what I'm planning. I don't have the headset in, so maybe you can't even hear me. Uh, anyway... I'm gonna go take a break, like a real break. I've been sorting things for a minute and recording. So I'm gonna stop and just chill for a couple hours. Then if I fall asleep, I fall asleep. Hopefully I do. If I and after if I wake up, I will do all the shit I just said. So I'll talk to you later. Fasting is my enemy. I've been eating my lips. And it hasn't even been long enough for me to be eating my lips. We all know I would be a cannibal. Provided the situation. You know me, don't come, come, and I'm in our law. Not as hang up, and then. 이런 기분 설명할 수 없어 원래 이만쯤 너와의 여행을 생각했었는데 yeah, yeah, yeah. 네가 좋아하던 왕과 선물을 준비했겠지 기뻐할 너를 상상하며 근데 왜 이런 생각을 하면서 네가 좋아하던 왕과 선물을 준비했겠지 기뻐할 너를 상상하며 근데 왜 이런 생각을 하면서 너를 주 주...